Good day, my dear investors. Yesterday, I went to buy some groceries. So I had to step into my car, drive to the store, go through the whole store, buy the groceries, pay, put it in the car, bring it home, and I lost about 25 minutes of my life. And while I was doing that, I was thinking, hmm, will this be disrupted? Isn't this an old fashioned life model? And current customers want to get value by mostly saving time because time is the key of life today. So I started thinking, okay, what, how would that disruption, is there potential disruption and how will that affect our lives? I just typed in into YouTube how the future supermarket would look and I got to this. Virtual reality supermarket experience explains it how we're going to buy things from our home and then we'll get it delivered home without spending 25 minutes, we'll do it in two, three minutes. Exactly no, you will tell what you want, you will get it. You will see the prices, compare with others, bam. Complete grocery industry, retail industry, completely disrupted. Further, there is then the problem of shipping it from not the all the 20 retail stores that are in a city, it will be one big central retail warehouse from where every, everything will be shipped. So all those real estates will be worth much, much less. How fast will that happen? I think very, very fast. I have looked then at Amazon Robotics. They already use robots in the shipment of their inventories across. Autonomous driving is really developing fast. So we will see a lot of disruption there. And that's why Amazon bought Whole Foods, not because it was a good investment, but because they are thinking about disrupting the whole industry from that perspective. Further, Amazon just acquired Ring. Ring is your doorbell camera. Somebody rings your door. You see on your phone who is ringing, who wants to enter your house and what's going on. And you can unlock your door from your home, which means that Amazon wants to really go work on that less shipment yard, less delivery, less delivery yard, which means that it will bring the groceries from Whole Foods whenever you are, which you will probably buy through virtual reality, will bring them to your home and put them into your fridge and do who knows how many other things while doing that. So complete disruption of a lot of services and a lot of time wasters from the current perspective of an old fashioned retail model. That will have huge cons consequences on retail values, grocery chains, some will win, some will lose. So it will be very, very disruptive. In addition to that, there will be a lot of potential for new businesses that will work on autonomous drive, but that's a very, very delicate investment strategy. And a lot of research has to be put into that to see which ones will win. However, it's very interesting how the world will develop and we as investors should take advantage of the winners and try to avoid sticking to the losers because if the whole retail sector goes down the drain, you don't want to be exposed even to the best retail environment, investor, REIT or whatever. Now, as we are talking about groceries, I recently read a National Geographic article about the Dutch miracle in relation to food. The Netherlands is the second food exporter in the world and it is 280 times smaller than the first exporter in the world, the US. And I made a video about fertilizers companies and the, those companies say that the global population will grow, there will be more consumption of food, and arable land will stay fixed. This means that there will be more need for fertilizers. Now, this is questionable because if you look at what's going on in Europe, a lot of things might change very fast, also in that old fashioned industry. Nevertheless, the market hasn't yet seen that because American farmland has exploded in the last 15 years from $1,270 per acre to more than 3000. However, if you compare American farmland with Dutch farmland, it's completely different. This is what's going on in the Netherlands. They are able to produce crops in whatever weather, whatever temperature, whatever happens outside. And they have managed to reduce dependence on water by 90%, almost completely eliminate the use of pesticides and cut the antibiotics with livestock and poultry by 60%. So really there could be huge disruption in that environment. 
Further, this also brings to production close to the city, close to the consumption of that. You don't have to ship food across the world. You can grow your own avocado wherever you want. And it is really, really something that makes me think, okay, do I want to be exposed to farmland? In an inflationary environment, farmland should be a good investment. But if everything switches to glass houses where they can produce with their technologies a lot of food to oversupply food, they will compete with that farmland. So it's very, very interesting how that will evolve. It's all, of course, I have to do more research, but I'm just sharing my food for thought and trying to think out of the box. As out of the box thinking leads to less risk and higher returns in the long term. I hope that the Dutch technology really spreads across the world and the food problem is solved and hunger is eradicated. We'll see how that works. Will it be American farmland or it will be Dutch technology? Dutch technology is there and is growing and producing more and more food. Just to go on yields and the average potato yield in the world is 9 tons per acre I think or per hectare in the Netherlands is 20. So there is a lot more potential to what is the current production in the world. When the technology hits and it will spread across the world, it will be again very, very disruptive. So we have to be careful where are we investing and how are we investing. What do you think are other sectors that will be disrupted? Please share your views. The, the commentaries are giving more and more value thanks to your involvement and you are giving more and more value to this channel. Thank you for that. We should, we should thank ourselves to, for helping each other, being better investors, learning and lowering our risks to increase our long-term investing returns. Thank you. Really comment, share your ideas. I think all the ideas on the forum are really welcome from the community. I don't see a lot of negative comments, so really feel free to share your opinion. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.